Hey guys, and welcome back. I am Andrew ZX, and we are playing Mega Man X. In the last part, we took on the first stage, and this is actually the second recording of this because I screwed up the first one and forgot to plug in my microphone. So that was awesome. We are going to be taking on the Chill Penguin stage first because it's the easiest, it has the first upgrade, and most people do it first. And it's my let's play, so I'll do what I want. Jerks. Okay, so, um, I never mentioned this in the last video, but a uh, little background information on me, or on my name anyways. Uh, the Ender part of it came from Ender's Game, which is basically the only book I like, ever. The ZX part, well, uh, Mega Man ZX, actually, which was the last Mega Man game that I liked. So, yeah. I'm not a fan of Battle Network at all. Um, let's see. Okay, Chill Penguin Stage. Actually pretty easy, self-explanatory. You just run through it. A uh, cool thing I want to show you guys, I thought it was cool anyways. If you take enough damage in this level, which is why I'm jumping into these bats and not shooting. Da -da -da -da. Nope, still not enough. Okay, if you take enough damage in this level, and he starts to breathe heavy, heavy like that, you can actually see his breath, which I thought was cool. He'll, t he'll breathe like that uh, in any level if he takes enough damage, but this is the only one where you can see his breath. So I thought it was kind of cool that they incorporated, you know, it was actually cold. This is probably the only tricky part of this level, and it's really not even that tricky. Uh, the first time I recorded this today, I actually screwed up a lot. It was just dumb mistakes. And this is the first upgrade capsule with Dr. Light. Um, honestly, I don't... Okay, I'll read it. So you've come. X, I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. So, building for peace, wanted him to choose, but now it seems you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion, I have hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. So he was built for peace, but designed for war. Well, that's cool. I guess, you know, whatever. Whatever does it for you. Beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule and receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. This is one of the two unavoidable upgrades in this game. The second one is the arm cannon, or the upgraded X-Buster. <coughs> I honestly, I, I always knew, I just never really thought about it, that there are two unavo unavoidable ones. I've never really heard anybody else mention that they're unavoidable. I mean, you can use cheats and passwords and stuff to, you know, make them go away, but you might as well just take them, especially if you've never played the game before. Okay, uh, ride armor. Basically, no shooting, all the same things X can do. You can dash, you can jump. Uh, if you jump up here though, it's a little bit easier path than on the bottom. Plus, we're gonna come back into this stage later to blow this thing up. Because there's a, um, a life upgrade under there that we need, and bleh, I can't speak. So we're almost at the end of the stage now. Yeah, um, I am kind of trying to rush through these just because I'm not sure what kind of time limit YouTube has now. I know it used to be 10 minutes, used to be 15 minutes. Not sure what it is now, honestly, and sorry if my mic is too close. Um, I just moved it a little bit further away, so hopefully that's better. And the first Maver or 
first of the optional Mavericks, or bleh, I don't even know how to explain it. First of the eight Robot Master things that aren't Robot Masters because they're called Mavericks in this game. Chill Penguin. Basically, pretty easy fight. He makes Ice Penguin shoot ice chunks at you. You can't uh, break the ice chunks he shoots at you, but you can break the ice penguins. If you shoot these enough... Okay, yeah, he usually makes them and then jumps at you. When he uh, takes a breath, he's most likely going to be invincible, unless he's just, you know, making ice penguins. He can pull that lover up at the top there and uh, make it blizzard. The first time I recorded this today, he actually killed me for a really dumb reason. I looked away from the screen and stopped moving. Oh, okay, I don't know if I explained this one in the last video or not, I don't remember. But you can charge up the X Buster, which I'll explain in more detail in the next level because I didn't realize I was going to kill him. And we're only six and a half minutes in. All right, the first time this took me close to nine minutes, so we definitely have time for another level after this cool little scene here. It's cool because uh, all the armor upgrades you get on here actually show up on this screen. And we got Shotgun Ice, which is really only useful two times in this... Eh. Okay, two parts in the game. Or one part in the game and three bosses. But since we have it, we might as well go and fight the enemy that it is effective on, which would be Spark Mandrill. Okay, uh, another thing here is, after you beat a level, uh, it actually affects a different level. Like, we just beat uh, Chill Penguin's stage, and you'll see it actually affects uh, Flame Mammoth's stage when we do that. This one has these, you know, electric charges going along the ground. If we beat a different level, uh, they would not be there, and the stage would be a lot darker. And I wouldn't be a dumbass. Okay, just a warning, when I do stupid things, it kind of pisses me off and I get angry, so... You might get to listen to me rant. That's always great, I guess. But, um... Yeah stage. These, it gets dark, you can still see the screen, those things come out of nowhere. This stage does have one mini boss that's pretty annoying. It's actually coming up right now. Okay, if you get trapped in these things, just move back and forth. And if you remember, uh, I was just talking about it, I mean, when you beat certain levels, it affects different levels. Well, you see how he goes up to the middle there and charges up, and then does the lightning blast thing? Well, when you beat the level that affects this one, he it knocks out the power, so he actually can't shoot those lightning blasts. If I die, I will start right here just after the mini-boss, so once you beat him, he's done. Oh, right, okay. So this is the normal X-Buster shot. This is the first stage, which is the equivalent of two shots. And if you charge it up a little more, you do this one, which is four of the normal shots. Later, when we get the arm upgrade, I believe it's the same as six shots, I think. Yeah, 
and 10 minutes in. Alright, we should be doing good. If I can do two levels per video. Okay, this heart thing. Uh, that's It extends your maximum life. It's pretty easy to get once you get the dash boots. Uh, you can actually dash off the wall, which uh, boosts your distance a little more. It's the only way to get that as far as I know. There's a boomerang weapon in the game later that might be able to get it, but I wouldn't count on it. But like I said, we'll be going into most of these stages again to get missing upgrades and whatnot, so... Oh, okay, now... Uh, not enough room right there. Definitely not enough. I was gonna show you, once you have the boots, you can actually dash under those things, and it won't hurt you. Uh, if you hit R and L on the controller, you can cycle through your weapons. But we're going to be using Shotgun Ice on this just to show you how fast you can be defeated. Basically, you can freeze him as soon as he breaks the ice. You can even turn around and shoot the wall and it ricochets and freezes him. And you just keep doing this. And he is done. Now, wasn't that easy? Okay, so anyways... Um... Yeah, we will see our new weapon, and I will cut the video. In the next part, we will take on Armored Armadillo and launch octopus but that is the electric spark and then there's the second password in the next video we will take on this stage um, if you like the video subscribe if you don't remember it's my first let's play my first videos ever uh, hopefully I'll get better I plan on it so, um, yeah, if you like it, subscribe. If not, give me a chance. I'm EnderZX, and we will pick this up next time.